Alright, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with another unboxing, this time of the uh, Retron 5 Plus controller. So, um, really excited to use this. So basically, for those of you who don't know, the Retron 5 is kind of a, an all-in-one console of sorts. It allows you to play uh, a lot of the old retro games. So we're talking like uh, original Nintendo, the NES, uh, Super Nintendo, SNES. Um, as they play old Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, I believe, and uh, old Sega Genesis games as well. And it allows you to play the uh, import version of those as well. So I can play Famicom, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, things like that. So I'm really excited to uh, be opening this. And um, you know, I saw it on uh, on Amazon and on other websites, and uh, just really excited. So um, I'll get let you guys look at the box. For uh, this bad boy and this bad boy, and then we'll uh, we'll open them up. So, see you in the next bit. All right. So first, we'll be looking at the wireless controller, and then we're going to move on to the actual uh, system itself. So I'm just going to let you guys look at the outside of the box, move on to the system, look at the outside of the box, and then uh, move on to the unboxing. So yeah. All right. So I really like the design of the of this box. It's not your usual square affair. It's got a nice little um, just kind of cut out portion here. I don't know why. I think it's just a nice uh, aesthetic that Hyperkin does. So it's pretty cool. So um, the Retron controller kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like something you know very modern and yet just kind of a retro as far as the colors and stuff go. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of the Wii U controllers or like the Wii Classic controller a little bit. Just kind of reminds me of that. So you got your standard analog stick, power button I'm assuming. Um, you have your uh, main uh, control buttons in, in addition to uh, the two extra ones right here. Start, select, home, and uh, I'm assuming that's either player number, power, something. I think it's player number. Yeah, seems about right. And that's what it says on the front of the box. Top of the box just says Retron 5, wireless controller, Retron5.com, Hyperkin, pretty cool. Left side of the box just kind of gives you uh, some basic features of it so it says compatible with the Retron 5 obviously it has a micro micro switch directional pattern or pad two macro buttons six mappable face buttons two shoulder buttons and a home button so you can't really see the shoulder buttons in the in the picture there but I guess they're there so they're just kind of recessed I'm assuming so we won't actually know I won't know until I open it up and look at it so right here it says wireless and I kind of like that it has like some of it in matte matte black and then the rest of it in uh, like the shiny gloss black I don't know if maybe the light can uh, you can kind of see that there so it's kind of cool anyway on the right hand side uh, same thing uh, it also sh uh, tells you what it comes with it includes one wireless controller duh, and a charge cable so bottom nothing on the back it has a, a bit more detail so it says the Hyperkin Retron 5 wireless controller is the perfect fit for retro gamers Joyous micro switch direction pad and six face buttons are capable of conquering any situation. Complete with left and right shoulder buttons, two macro buttons, and start and select. A charge cable is included so you never have to bathe. Um, yay. <laughs> I'm not sure where they were going with that, and then just normal trademarky stuff. So, with that said, we'll unbox this and then uh, we'll move on to the Retron 5. So, yeah. probably bring out my scissors just in case I had them off to the side in case uh, things got a little hairy here so speaking of hairy <laughs> it's uh I cut a little bit from my uh, my dead cat setup so I guess uh, there's still some hair left over apologize so I decided to trim it up so it doesn't uh, show up in video as much hasn't really affected the uh, the windiness of it that I've noticed, or like the wind fighting capabilities. But I digress. Oh, one more piece. Okay. Put the scissors off the side there. Open this bad boy up. Alright. So, that's all it's in the box, so we'll put the box off to the side. Pretty sturdy, too, I gotta say. Alright, so get the little uh, squishy pad, put that off to the side as well. 
And it's pretty much what it said from the beginning. You get your uh, get your charge cable here, which is a uh, mini USB, not a micro. If you'll notice um, there, let me do that. So you get the micro to the uh, or the mini rather to the micro right here. You notice. So put that off to the side there. And then open this bad boy up. Just comes right up the sleeve, no manual, no nothing, so ta-da. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So the buttons are actually on top, they're not as uh, recessed as I thought they were. I thought they were like back here or something like that. They're just right on top, so hmm. That's pretty clicky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so you got your two uh, macro buttons up here, you got some buttons up here, uh, buttons up here. Not too bad. Not a fan of the uh, the clicky noise. That's just kind of annoying to me because you know I can just kind of imagine just like doing stuff like that and then you know, it's just like yeah, it's too clicky. That's just my opinion. So you know you got your start select, home, which is I don't know if you noticed that it looks like a castle, it's kind of like an old Super Mario castle. It's kind of cool. So um, it does feel pretty comfortable in the hands. It's a little. Uh, the corners here are a bit uh, rough, I'm not going to lie, but it does it does feel pretty comfortable, very lightweight, almost like there's no battery or anything like that in here, but there is, it's in there, I promise, <laughs> but it does feel very lightweight, about the same weight as probably like a, an SNES controller or something like that, so it's pretty cool, and then you just uh, plug in the port right there and that uh, charges it, so... We'll set this bad boy off to the side and get to the the pista resistance, the rich on five. So we we'll move all the stuff to the side and then we'll uh, continue on. Alrighty, so now we have the pista resistance right here, um, the Retron Five system itself. So as with the controller, we'll go over stuff on the on the box and then we'll uh, dig deep and uh, get inside this bad boy. So as with the uh, the wireless controller box, it has mostly matte black with the, uh, the shiny black, even on the, uh, the system picture itself. It's pretty cool. I'll try my best to uh, get as much reflection in there. So. It just, it's a small little detail, but I think it's the small details that matter for stuff like this. It also has the, uh, the little cutout portion up here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, uh, Retron 5 for Game Boy Advance, SNES, NES, Genesis, and Famicom. Also including uh, Super Famicom as well, because it's uh, non-region eyes, I guess so. Um, graphical user interface, original controller ports. Oh, that was another thing I forgot to mention. So if you have the original controllers for those systems, you can plug them into the sides here as well. Audio video enhancement with the HDMI output. So that's the cool part. You can plug this into your modern day TV. You don't have to get out the old, old school TV to play this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, multiple system compatibility obviously and it also comes with its own wireless controller but I got a second one uh, just in case I have some friends over or whatever so off to the side here wireless uh, has two NES ports two SNES ports and two Genesis ports so that's really cool and on the top here where it says about the same thing we're on 5 we're on 5.com game advance SNES NES Genesis Famicom I have can and uh, bottom about the same thing really um, off to the side, pretty much says the same thing as it did on front, um, just a bit more condensed. And over here on the other side, same thing. So I'll move on to the back, where it has a lot of teeny tiny text. So I'll go through this and then we'll uh, open this bad boy up. So, Retro Reloaded, the Retron 5 brings retro gaming to the HD era. <laughs> Play your classic cartridges like never before with enhanced graphics and sound, screenshot capability, and save anywhere capabilities. It's pretty cool. Multiple system compatibility. The Retron 5 allows you to play your favorite NES, SNES, Super Famicom, Genesis, Mega Drive, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance cartridges on one system. You can also play Master System games with the use of the power base converter. That's pretty cool, I didn't know that. Graphic user interface. Brand new GUI menu that gives access to features and the ability 
to customize your entire gaming experience on the screen. HDMI output. The HDMI output up converts the signal to your HD TV with a maximum output resolution of 720p. Save load states. Save or load your game at any point during gameplay with 10 save slots for each game. Pretty cool. Video enhancement. Customize your video settings with a variety of different filters and sh uh, shader effects including scan lines. That's interesting. Uh, audio enhancement. Utilizing audio interpolation, the Retron 5 produces a smoother, crisper sound output. Interesting. Cheats. Pre-built cheats that can be accessed at any point during gameplay for most games. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, wireless controller. The controller utilizes wireless technology and has a range of up to 30 feet. It features a micro switch directional pad, uh, two, two programmable uh, macro buttons, and a home button for quick in-game access for features. Or two features to features. <laughs> I thought there's more to it than that. Uh, like I said originally, original control ports. Two original control ports, six total for each platform. Compatibility, the Retron 5 will play both PAL and NTSC cartridges. Uh, CSC lockout chips and FX chips are no longer going to be an issue as we aim to achieve 100% compatibility with all cartridges. Um, this box includes the Retron 5 console, one HDMI cable, one wireless controller, one AC adapter with four uh, variable head sockets. So, good stuff. And then it basically just says the same thing but in different uh, languages here. So, there you go. So, without further ado, Let's open this bad boy. Start from this end here. Got my handy dandy scissors. Um, let's see how I want to tackle this. I hope everything's in frame. I'm not, I'm not looking at the monitor right now, so um, I might have to put this down so I can freaking attack it from a proper angle here. Actually, no, fuck it. Didn't even need the scissors. Out. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, wait. Two more sticker? No, nope. that was it. <laughs> it was just the one. So, let's put this out here. Put that way up. Alright, put the box off to the side here. And uh, we got this. So we have the system itself. We'll get to this bad boy here in a sec. Let me make some room here. We have the uh, Hyperkin controller, which we uh, just unboxed. So put that off to the side. Um, have the uh, AC adapter right here, which uh, plugs into the unit. Put that off to the side. We have the uh, universal uh, plug converters, so you can uh, play the system pretty much wherever you are in the world. That's cool. Put that up the side. Have the uh, little charge cable for the uh, controller itself. Put that up the side. And then we have the uh, HDMI cable as well. Put that up the side. Um, and we have, lastly, we have the uh, instruction manual for it, and some stickers. Yeah. So, done all that. Let's get to the showstopper. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So, um. So this here is the front of the unit. I don't know if you guys can see that here. So you got your little power button right here. Uh, you can plug your uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games in here. And oh, this is cool. It has little dust covers as well for the controller ports. So if you're not using them, you can just put them in there. They're made of like a kind of a silicone, like a rubbery sort of feeling. So they don't gather dust on the inside and they kind of maintain a, a uniform look on the side. I like that, good stuff. So you have your uh, Genesis port right here, your uh, original NES port right here, and then your Super Nintendo port right here. Uh, same thing on the side. Um, like I said, Retron 5. And these are the lights that displays uh, what's, what uh, 
game you're using right now or what port on here you're using so you have your um, Famicom port which is your original NES you have your NES port right here you have your Super Nintendo which also works for Super Famicom as well and then you have your Genesis port which also works for Mega Drive and then you have like a little nice uh, resting place for your controllers and whatnot I don't know put a beer in there and a can of Georgia coffee, who knows. Um, looking at the undercarriage here. Retron 5, item number blah, made in China. Nice uh, little uh, rubber booties, which can uh, keep things in check here. Fan or whatever. And then on the back here, you have the SD card, which you can put like safe states and whatnot. You have your HDMI cable right here, USB port, which uh, you can use to charge a controller. Then you have the old AC adapter port right there. So, we got it from the top down here, so you guys can get a top down view. Like I said earlier, Genesis, Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom, NES, and Famicom. And then your Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and all that stuff right here. So, there you have it. So yeah, this is the Andy Sun. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my humble unboxing of the Retron 5 and uh, the wireless controller that came with it and the other wireless control that I bought with it and uh, for tuning in to my other stuff also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party and hey, as always, we'll see you next time catch you later guys, bye